I got a question for you guys. I'd love to know, did you all hear the talk I gave today? Okay, so we all heard it. I want to know if I said anything you don't agree with. That you think, I'm not buying that. So I'll preface this by saying it's a little unorthodox. But, um, so you talked a lot about questions and doubts, and you kind of differentiated between the two, especially with your comment about you know, your experience with that girl who said she's a seeker, uh -huh. not a doubter, which I really resonate with. I really appreciate that. But in my experience, at least, um, and we've talked about this a lot already, but we have questions, we go to the Lord, we seek answers, but what if our answers don't necessarily align with you know, church policy? or is it, I mean, we already know that it's possible that certain things aren't necessarily doctrine as their doctrine, right? So how, like, what do we, what do, we do in, those, in those situations? Okay, so I think the perfect answer to that, at least in my heart, is something that Elder Ballard said in the last general conference. And I'm struggling to remember what the name of his talk was, but that would, of course, be October of 16. Mm -hmm. And he basically said, I'm old enough that, over, that I've seen a lot of things, a lot of questions I've had in my life, and a lot of questions in the church. I'm old enough that I've seen a lot of them get resolved. And I'm not as old as Elder Ballard, meaning no disrespect to Elder Ballard, but I'm old enough that one of the things that I have seen is sometimes when I've um, felt strongly about something, um, but, it, but it hasn't been implemented in the church. Like there are some things about women that I don't think are right yet. I was going to say, in terms of just structural, there are just some structural things. And, uh, but, the res but, but the restoration is ongoing. And, and I'm not talking, by the way, about women being ordained. Please don't think, oh, maybe Sherry thinks that. I do not think that. But there's some things about women in the structural organization I think. But does that mean the church isn't true? And you know what? I'll bet you I'm right, too. I'll be very surprised if I'm not right. If I'm not right, that'll be fine. But I'll be surprised if I'm not right about some of these things. But I expect to see some of them, uh, some of them have already unfolded. And I'll bet more do as well. So there's a part of me that loves to just subscribe to Elder Ballard's point. <clears throat> I'm, I'm old enough to have seen that over time things work, their, work themselves out. And... Sister Kimball, Camilla Kimball, had a statement she made many years ago that I think has some real merit, and that is, she said, when I've got really serious questions and they're just not resolved yet, and I don't know where to go with them yet, I put them in a box and set them on my shelf. And I pull that box down occasionally, and I reevaluate those questions and ask myself, hmm, can I answer any of them differently than I could two years ago? And she said, from time to time, this is really a paraphrase, I find, yep, I can answer that one now, or, or that one's been resolved, or whatever. And I think there's some truth, some truth to that. Part of it's also, you'll just think differently about things as you mature. Not that you're not mature now, but in five years, and then in 10, and then 15, you'll see the world a little bit differently. You just will, because we grow and we learn and we adjust. I was way more rigid about certain things 20 years ago than I am today. Because I just think, yeah, that rigidity doesn't really get you anywhere. Obedience, yes. Rigidity, I'm not a fan of. 